Toya Benitez for our December podcast. We did live interviews at Holiday Cheer. Yay! But we lost our sound files. Ooh! But we have some video footage. Yay! Yay! So I'm your host for the first ever Greatest Men podcast video cast. Yay! Yay! We will report on this event at St. Mike's in Studio City. So here are our reporters. Daniela, Angelica, me, Victoria, and Iswan. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> also known as the GMP and also known as Dave. Hi, I'm Angelica Benitez from the Greatest Men Podcast and I'm going to tell you about Holiday Cheer. On December 12, 2015, Men gathered in two buses and headed for St. Mike's Church. They were, they were heading to Holiday Cheer. According to its founder, Jane Wilson says it is a charity event for 18 years. And she says that it's a wonderful event. You can give gifts to children, and they have photography, and then they have arts and crafts. Father, uh, we interviewed Father Dan Justin, and it says that it is his favorite event of the year because it's giving gifts for both families and children, for both families and children, and for two organizations, Men and Guardian Angel. Hi, I'm Daniel Catalan reporting on the photography room. The Vasta family takes pictures for families every year at Holiday Cheer. I liked especially that the the man that um, that edits the photos because he has a special program that's designed especially for that. Hello, I'm Star Rolla said I'm going to tell you about the comic. First thing first. Um, it was fun. Second things second actually. So um, we all, we got to play games like Alright, everyone back at me and then they're going to turn to somebody else. This is what we learned what Santa said about the North Pole and his new phone. <laughs> his new phone. New phone, yeah. <laughs> so what did he say? He said he was gonna get a new phone. Why did he need a new phone? I asked him phone. if he had any um ele electronics over there. He, ha he said he had a phone, but he's gonna get a new one. <laughs> what else did he say? He said that it's really, really cold, and his elves are working hard for next year. Already? Yep. Wow. He told us that um, he usually lets his reindeer out a few um, days um, before Christmas, so that way they can get all started up so, um, for the big day. <laughs> oh, and, and I asked him if he was really a pro at it, and he said yes, he has so many skills that I can't even count. Let me try counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, three, eight. He said that it takes one night to um, deliver all the presents. I wonder if it takes three days instead. Yeah, why do you think it takes no, three it takes days? It takes any days just to get around the world. That's why in one night, how do you think? Slower than an airplane. Maybe he Dang. has his own separate Santa. No, <laughs> he has his own secret um, Santa clones and then he just sends them out. <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's true. No you one may knows. You never know. How are things with Mrs. Claus? <laughs> what do you say? He, make, uh, he makes a lot of cookies. Uh, she makes a lot of cookies for him. Man, <laughs> I wish I was at the North Pole right now. <laughs> you want to be freezing below zero? Yeah, but... Negative? Well, did he seem nice? Very nice. Yeah? Very, um, fake. Very jolly. <laughs> Very fake? Yes. <laughs> Very Literally, jolly. you could Very see jolly. the skin. You can see his skin? You don't think Santa has skin? I'm very fat. <laughs> no! <laughs> All right.